Okay, quick update on the driver issue that I was having. Um, well, basically what I've resorted to now is installing the um, Trinamic uh, TMC 2100 series drivers. You can see these them here in there now. They came in with the heat sinks installed. Um, they were purchased off eBay, £10.50. So not extremely expensive and uh, it's version 1.2 with the potentiometer on the top so you can easily adjust and I've, they're set up in various modes um, depending on what they are used for as in the extruder is a different mode than the um, Z axis and the Z axis is different than the XY axis so that I've, I've used three different modes for them all but whether I mean uh, I can hear it for a start these things are much quieter in operation um, much smoother and for instance here's my extruder now this used to click and uh, not be very smooth at all but if I can get the camera to focus eventually do apologize you will see there that is nicely smooth and that's only actually set to 16-bit uh, micro stepping but the motor I'm using is a 400 step uh, 0.9 degree stepper so it's twice the resolution of the previous motor I did however try this motor before but it didn't have enough torque um, to uh, to yeah print all the time quite often it would slip and miss steps but with these Trinamic 2100 drivers even running at a much lower current and it it has far more torque and it's far more smooth the control waveform that is sent to these motors via the Trinamic drivers is much improved than the DRV 8825s I was using and it's totally evident from the onset of tr just testing them that it was going to be a, a big improvement. I did try a large stepper driver and that was much better than the DRV 8825s but it was noisy and it was a large stepper driver that was external to my main board and needed extra wiring and all the rest of it but these are just fantastic you know I've I, I know these these have been around quite some time and they've been reviewed on many many places but you know it's not until you try something to your, for yourself can you see how good of a difference it can make and yeah no these are brilliant not only is my printer a lot smoother a hell of a lot quieter and uh, yeah it's, it's just resolved the few niggles that I was having with the other drivers it's much better so um, I mean anyone who's not familiar with them you can set them up into these various modes um, so my X and Y are actually set into 16 micro steps but it interpolates that up to 256 and that's set into what's known as spread cycle mode which is uh, it's not the quietest mode you can set these in that's actually stealth chop but in this mode there's so little torque generated it's, it's almost yeah it's not the best mode to use for a 3d printer but ever so quiet but not the best so what you want to set them to is into spread cycle and these are the modes you can set them in. Now, um, I think I've set uh, my extruder to this, which is half step um, and 256 micro steps. Um, and the, the Z axis, I think I've set to quarter step 256 micro steps. But all in the spread cycle and uh, 
yes, resulted in a very smooth, quiet printer. Printing now, I'm actually just printing off a calibration test piece that um, it tests bridging capabilities more than anything. But as you can tell, it's, it's nice and quiet compared to what it used to be. And that's all to these TMC little drivers, they're brilliant. So all I'm doing at the moment is a just a calibration test print. If I expect if I lift this open this door now, this will probably start to lift off the bed. Because this is this is ABS that I'm using. It's just cheap ABS off eBay, nothing special. About seven pound a roll for a, a kilogram. Oh, come on camera. So yeah, it's nothing extra special filament or anything. But that's just doing a, um, a bridging and a calibration of the extruder, which is not doing too bad. Right there, right there. It's starting to lift, but it's probably because I've opened this door. I've had it open five minutes ago and didn't like it. Obviously, you're printing ABS, you need to keep the chamber same temperature throughout and um, as very little air disturbance as possible. The minute you introduce some air disturbance you'll change the temperature of the print from one end to the other and it will warp like that and it's starting to increase as I've got the door, this door open. So I'll we'll shut it back up. But, yeah, very impressed with these little drivers. Excellent little things. And the noise it makes, so yeah, there is a bit of a, a not a whine, but a squishing sound. But that's the 256 micro step interpolated between each single step, so you have to bear that in mind. It's not true, two, five, six steps. It's, uh, yeah, it's an abbreviation of such to give you that effect, but I mean, that's not too bad, is it? But this is one of the third prints I've sort of tried since changing the stepper motor and the stepper drivers and obviously still tweaking everything to get everything tuned back in again but I'm very impressed though they work much better than the DRV 8825s and uh, actually better than the larger stepper driver just purely because I can plug them into the board and tune them but there we go um, Excellent. So uh, there will be a. I will post a, a video to show what I found on the other drivers. So I've got a comparison video on what they all perform like, and it's clear to see the TMC are. Uh, yeah, they're the daddy of drivers for stepper and uh, well for 3D printers and stepping 3D printers about at the moment. I think. So excellent. So uh, I'll update you a bit more soon. Cheers.